deep in the blue waters of the aquarium. You will find many wonders, such as unique plants, fish, and bugs. Today on our show, The Wonders of the Water, we will show you some plants and fish and then talk about their characteristics. A fish that you can find it from many pet stores and aquariums is the red white platy. Its scientific name is Zephophorus maculatus. Its average size as a full grown adult at maximum is two and a half inches long. The average lifespan of a red white platy is one to five years. Even though a platy can live up to five years, most of them only live to be one to three years old. Sadly, that is just what happened to this poor red white platy. He lived to be about one to two years. The personality of a red white platy is peaceful and it is a community fish, which means it can have a happy life in the environment of other types of fish, such as molly fish, guppies, and swordtail fish. They are also part of the platy family. The platys can also breed with other species. These fish are omnivorous and they are not picky eaters. They can diet on algae or other types of water plants as well as freeze-dried bloodworms or medley as a tasty snack. They also eat frozen and freeze-dried tropical flakes, tuba effects, and brine shrimp. This species of Zephophorus maculatus originated from eastern Mexico, Guatemala, and northern Honduras. Therefore, they need to live in relatively warm water. A close relative of the red white platy is called the sunburst platy. It has the same characteristics and needs as the red white platy, but is more of vibrant color, as you can tell by its name and its appearance. Another common tank fish is the zebra daniel. Its scientific name is daniel rario, formerly known as brachy daniel rario. Its size and length is roughly the same as the red white platy, or a bit bigger, at about two and a half inches, but is much shorter. Zebra Daniel often lives in groups of at least three. It will accept a wide variety of undersea found foods such as bloodworms, insect larvae, brine shrimp, and tube effects worms, as well as freeze dried or frozen flake foods. The Zebra Daniel normally spawns with just one partner. The female body is much larger than the male's, and the male's body usually has a brighter color. The fish that we have kept in our aquarium for a long time and is in a lot of tanks is the algae eater. This species of specimen of fish is unknown, though the name algae eater is used to describe many bottom dwelling fish that do just what their name expresses about them. They eat algae. Many people keep this type of fish because it can take care of a lot of the cleaning needed in an aquarium. Its suckers can attach them to a rock or the tank glass and they suck on the algae. They can eat natural grown plants or pellets that you can feed them. One algae eater should be enough to help your tank, but the more the better even though you cannot always rely on the algae eater to clean all of your tank. Many people find that much algae is still left that they have to clean themselves because algae eaters rely on us to feed them too, so we have to plop pellets right down in front of them. This fish can grow up to a maximum of two feet long and has a very long lifespan because we have had this fish for a while and it is only that big. Some fish that have almost the complete opposites of this algae eater is the neon tetra. Its scientific name is Parachiridon inessi. This fish is tiny and is only about half the size of a red white platy. Like the zebra daniels, they need to live in groups of at least four, otherwise they will not be happy, and also because they rely on each other for survival. Although you cannot see him, a very unique type of fish does live in this aquarium, and it is called the glass catfish. Although it is not more troublesome to keep, the glass cat is one of the most unusually kept fish in a tank. The scientific name for this fish is Cryptoteris bickerhis. This fish derives from the family of the species Siluridae. It is slightly longer than the Daniels and the Platys. This fish is named for its appearance, as you can see through its whole body, and it is transparent. One problem with keeping this fish, though, is that it is highly vulnerable to catching diseases and having infections. The glass catfish is not usually bred in an aquarium and cannot breed with other species. This fish was originally from Indonesia to Thailand and Cambodia. That is all we have to share with you tonight on our show, The Wonders of the Water. Thanks for watching, and we hope that this show has convinced you enough to get some of these amazing fish. See you next time! Ba-dum-ba-dum! Ba-dum-ba-dum!
That's not part of it. <laughs>